hey everybody, I'm kind of giggling because my older brother just keeps texting, 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 and um, I'm sure we all have a um, relative like that that's like, boop, 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 boop. <laughs> okay, so welcome, I'm a little late for lunch hour today. Um, the baby was here and Sabrina or Sydney was helping me a little bit in the shop. So I got a little behind, here we go. It looks like there is a little bit of a glare right here a little bit of one not much boom 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 so what we're going to paint today is our welcome snowy village hanger i made mine in the size of a desk de decor or like you know like just to sit on your desk and a little stand just trying to log on real quick um but they of course we can blow them up to like 18 inches or more super cute there I am. It's still, it still look a little, looks a little furry, a little fuzzy. Maybe it's, maybe it's this light. Hold on one second. One of the lights looks like it is totally, totally making the, the coverage a little fuzzy. Did that help? I don't think it did. All right. Anyway, we're not, we're moving on. Actually, let me move this one. Get two lights. Why? Because I'm extra. I'm extra. This one doesn't want me. I have to shut it off. Shut it back on about a million times for it to work. I'm like, you guys did not need to be here for all of this. Okay. Anyway, we're just going to go with the one light, and hopefully that's enough. Hmm. Do you guys feel like it's too dark? <laughs> uh, thanks for the lights. I know it's always like a big old crapshoot, right? Is it gonna work? Is it not gonna work? It worked for a second there. You guys all have something you're not sure whether it works or not. There, that helped. It illuminated the possibilities. Okay, here we go. Okay, so real quick yesterday, I wanna show you, coming back from yesterday's one, look at that. So I took some big glitter, like the big almost sequin glitter, glitter, and put it on each piece of that wreath. I think it came out beautiful. One thing to keep in mind, it became too heavy for this small wreath. So it did, it did break, but I was able to glue it. So I would suggest that you would glue it in place and then do that process. Or it's like, oh no, it broke. Okay, so this one is beautiful. Another one of our brand new designs. Let me know. I have to write something or I don't see anything. Hey, Christy. Girl, I know you know what I mean about glitter, right? <laughs> anyway, it's the big stuff. It was like, like I said yesterday, Elton John and and uh, Liberace got together and they had a baby glitter. This would be their glitter. It was perfect. We got a little snow, Christy. I don't know. Did you get any snow down there in the Sumner Puyallup area? So this one is really pretty. It's, what I like about it is not everyone celebrates Christmas or wants to have, you know, a Christmas decor. This can be up all year. No, not all year. Like, you know, for the season. So it's welcome. And I call it Welcome Snowy Village because hello. Now, right away, loving the teal, but some of those colors have got to change. I'm like, why my village isn't going to be like, this light color and maybe it's supposed to be gingerbread I'm not sure and I don't have to really use the tape trick because everything is nice and big so if you struggle sometimes with things that are smaller this is great for you this is gonna be it you see how it's edged that's pretty that's pretty cool it's gonna go on my desk probably most of the winter I like this little swivel a little swirl it's beautiful it is cold there. That's good to know. So this is just an overlay. Okay, so real quick, can't believe I'm so late for lunch hour painting. <laughs> Brunch painting, I don't know. We'll figure out what to call it. Okay, so right away, I'm gonna go probably hmm, a lighter to dark brown. Some of you guys could probably go with a midnight blue, okay. Talk me into it. Talk me into it. Actually, I'm going to save that for my, my buildings. We're going to go with a brown. 
I'm not gonna go super dark, but I know I need to color that one up a little bit. Sometimes you have problems with color. It happens. All our adult boxes, except the ones that just came in, are out the door, so I'd love to hear what you think about them. And John said, never again. Each one caught, or each one took over an hour to cut. <laughs> What happens? I don't know. Sometimes, good thing he loves me, right? Yeah, because that was substantial. So all of a sudden we had all of these orders and it took an hour to do each one. And he has a daytime job, y'all. Okay, so you, I want to show you, you can still see the grain. I am just doing a wet wipe technique. You can paint it if you want. I like things to be a little, a little lighter, I guess. I'm going with the grain and then I make sure as I go up to the line I go past the line and back in so I'm carrying that um, paint back and forth now it's cold here my dogs are inside they may or may not cooperate one is full-on Bassett so he may not cooperate so you don't have to go all the way down because the next piece is gonna cover it. I'm kinda laughing at myself because I have lipstick on in yesterday's hairdo and a hat on my head. <laughs> we should do roll call. Who's got their yoga pants on? Who has plans to wear yoga pants today? <laughs> it got cold. The shorts were so freeing. The shorts were very freeing. So like I said, I don't have to go all the way down and I know when I hit it with my sealer that it's gonna get the exact sheen I want. Either it'll be a more of a matte sheen or it will be high gloss because I love the gloss. Sometimes I really love the matte too. Okay, so I do not, because I'm complicated. Give me a heart if you're complicated. I can't call you complicated. I probably wouldn't be a surprise if you are complicated. <laughs> Oh my gosh, okay, here we go. So I'm happy with that. This next piece is going to cover that. And I think I am probably gonna go white because, you know, hello. It's a snowy time. But my buildings, I wanted it to be more, not the gingerbread color, but I was thinking like um, paint gray, but with silver. And if you're not sure what Payne's Gray is, Payne's Gray is a dark grayish blue. And so that's where the gray comes through, comes from. So I'm gonna go with my darker blue and I'm gonna grab some black, which is here, and some silver, which is here. You don't need a lot. That's probably way too much black. So let me know, are you at work today? Are you sneaking, a, are you sneaking a peek? Shh, are you sneaking? It's okay, it's all right. I try to get here at lunch hour. Um, but one thing led to another, as it does in the Robinson household. One thing led to another. Okay, so I'm just gonna mix that together. I probably don't need all that black. So first off, I'm gonna move the blue, which is just, Deco Art True Blue, so it's a little darker. I haven't found a good craft blue I like. So if you have a good craft blue you like, share, let us know. Okay, so more silver. The silver will lighten it and it'll also give it shimmer, yes, but it'll also make it a little transparent. So I'm trying to, trying to watch it. So this is kind of what I have going on. So it's a nice deep blue with a little bit of shimmer going on. Several coats will have to happen. It's okay to get up into the snow line because you have these, these lovely overlays that will be your snow. Well, shoot, what am I supposed to do with the... Okay, because I was thinking mine's at nighttime. You could sponge this but be prepared to give it several coats. You guys are really quiet today. You must be sneaking a peek. 
while you're at work. So I had a paint party last night. It was a really small paint party, but I still, I want to go. Those ladies need their breaks. They need their connections. They need their time. Uh, quite frankly, I need out of the house. Sometimes I just have to get out of the house. So this, this is where I'm going with this story. Um, so the little, cute little waiter comes up and he's like, his name's Juan. He goes, hey, you want something to eat? And I'm like, just, just bring me what you like, man. I don't know. I don't really have time to eat, but I'll get to it. He brings me a bowl of fettuccine. Alfredo. With little tiny tomatoes in it. This is where it gets kind of interesting. It is, I swear to gosh, he brings me six liters. I swear, it was so much of um, fettuccine. It was so much that I had some last night. At the party I had a little when I came home because you know I didn't want to be a hog at the party but I really really wanted it um, and then Sydney came over and her and John and myself all had some for breakfast and I meant we had some pretty good portions I just want to show you what we got going on so I think it's really pretty so if I find it's too dark, there are some tricks I'm happy to share with you. I just, the photo showed it kind of gingerbread-y, but then it didn't, it didn't contrast at all with the background. Like, at all. At all, at all. I'm going to turn it around so you can see a little bit better. So I'm just using a Filbert paintbrush, and it's one of the Michaels Princeton paint brushes. It still has its tag on. Here we go. It's a number two, level two. I wouldn't typically use a really good paintbrush for painting on wood. And sometimes I just want to feel validated, extra special. Um, I just, it's one of the ones I like to reach for. I just, I know that it's not going to hold its shape very well. You guys, I wish you could see the shimmer. So I love that you showed up with me today to watch the show. This is a great resource um, for people that are just start, starting out. We take it, we download it, and we put it on our YouTube channel. There's at least a hundred of you that follow it. <laughs> I have no clue. Um, I only use YouTube to put in um, like our resources, like the video vault. And then other than our canvas painting, which are like, they're hidden or whatever, um, you know, and then we share a link when you buy a, a video or you, you buy a package. These are complimentary, just help yourself. And a lot of people just don't know how we do things, why we do things. And so it just helps people when they get a kit and they reach out and go, oh my gosh, what am I doing with this? And they didn't see this Facebook video. They maybe found us some other way. Um, I can just say, oh, no problem. We have a video on our YouTube channel, which is probably how it grew from like one to a hundred. <laughs> it's crazy. It cracks me up. Most of my people, most of my people are right here on Facebook. But I've had that YouTube channel since COVID. I'm just not very good at remembering to post to it unless I'm doing one of these. So if you need assistance, you'll probably be able to find a video that supports the project you want to do. Not always, but probably. So if you noticed, I quickly went right back and painted again because that first coat is just thirsty. That wood is thirsty. It, it soaks right in. And the interesting thing about the paint I just made is it'll get a lot deeper as the paint dries and cures, but the shimmer won't really show until the paint has cured. 
So metallics take a little bit longer to to kind of like show their true, their true self. They're like a teenager and it take a little bit longer to blossom, but so worth it. And then just kind of keep an, an eye out for, do you need to apply a little bit more in a spot or not? Ta-da. Okay, so another thing is this steeple. They have it in gingerbread. I'm not too interested in that. Oh, thanks, Kay. Girl, you're sweet. Um, Kay, what color should I do my steeple? Should it be the same blue color? I don't want to do that gingerbread. I could do black. Um, I kind of highly doubt. And the reason why this, this village is probably not painted this color, but my thought is, why does the background kind of dark? And so I was thinking this could be kind of at night and see that I'll have that white sky or roof line and that will break up that dark. So I don't know. Black. Thank you. She says black. Okay. You the girl. You can do black. You can always do a little silver around the edge. Maybe I'll make this a little black and silver together. I want it too light to add a little bit more dark, a little more black. Yeah, I'm kind of, I'm kind of digging that. Let's just see. Yep, she's right. That's kind of what I was thinking too. But sometimes I end up painting something two or three times because, you know, it didn't really look how I thought it was going to look. Okay, here we go. So I took a little black, I added my silver. You guys are so funny. Use whatever paints you want, but you're, you're always kind of wanting to, to use the same thing and that's fine, so it's just deco art. Um, shimmering silver, Michaels for sure, most likely. Hey, hey Tiff, hey, nice to see ya. Welcome to lunch hour, but we're late. <laughs> lunch hour painting. Um, I'm pretty sure Hobby Lobby probably has it. Just a silver you like. Silver can come awfully dark, and I would say this is kind of like a mid, a mid-range silver. Things are lighter on my computer than they are in my phone. That's why I'm always looking over there. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Okay, I'm happy with that. I may do the steeple one more time. Thanks so much, Kay, for the recommendations. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be pulling out some teal. Teal mixed with silver today. So this will be white. This will be white. This will be white. And then for goodness sakes, match it up. Make sure you're painting the right side. You might be painting the wrong side and go, Kelly Sue, I get these calls. Kelly Sue, it doesn't fit. Hey, maybe flip it over. Maybe just try that. <laughs> Happens at paint parties too, but that may be alcohol induced. Okay, and then for your snowflakes or anything else, really, let's see if this one is. Okay, here's the right and wrong side. The wrong side, pretend this wasn't a word, pretend it was a, something that looked the same from the back to the front. Do you guys see that dark, I think it's called like flashback? It's um, just a side or you know, side effect byproduct of cutting and it just it's the light, laser light hitting um, the honeycomb or metal and flashing back up but you won't have that on the regular side. Sometimes there's a tiny little bit on the front sometimes. So I always like to make sure you can, can you guys see the difference between, oh, that's the back and that's the front, even though there's just a little bit of that flash. Okay, so hopefully, hopefully. So Tiff, where are you from? I don't know if you're still on, but where are you from? I'm gonna pull out my big old box of liquid text or liquid uh, fluid acrylics because normally one coat and I'm done. Okay, so there's this, there's this, and there's this. Oh, look, there's this. There's gonna be some teal in our, our future. Obviously one of those is a light, light blue, but that's okay, I get that. Massachusetts, hey Tiff from Massachusetts. I wonder if you got snow. Here in Spokane, we got a little snow, like a dusting. My mom and dad are in Missoula, Montana. It's about three hours away. Um, and they they got some coverage. It's covering. 
then I'm not ready. I thought we had, I hope it's just like this one little pocket we can enjoy. And then we have a nice rest of the fall. And then, then it dumps. Cause last year was a really long winter. So just kind of curious, do you have snow yet? Or are we just the lucky ones? I grew up in Pennsylvania, kind of right next to where the groundhog sees its shadow in Dubois. That's Punxsutawney, we were Dubois. And those winters were really, really miserable. No snow yet, I love snow, I do too. A lot of rain, it could change at any time. Okay, so I'm using fluid acrylics. Why? It just it has really good coverage. It's kind of shiny. Really good coverage. Am I recommending you go out and get some? Not at all. It's a very good paint. Use your craft paint, that's fine. If you're ready to kick it up a notch, you know, maybe. They're five bucks a bottle at Michael's. Use your coupon. You know, when the kids were really young, I used to make coupon a lot, and this is why. Because if you can save yourself 50 bucks, 50 bucks is 50 bucks. But here in Washington, the stores made it hard. I'd watch that coupon. I keep on queen. Hey, it's one of the basset hounds. Um, like it was a show and they, they got $2,000 worth of stuff in all their carts and they like pushed it up to the front and you just watch the cash register go, oh, oh, we owe you five bucks for shopping. That's amazing. But we don't have double coupons around here. But one time, and this is why I don't do it anymore because I end up with all this crap on my shelf I don't like to eat and we don't need to eat, so I can donate it. But one time I was at Walmart using coupons on top of their already low price, feeling pretty good about it. And then I broke the machine. <laughs> so, the manager had to come over. It was fine. I felt bad because it was a lineup. They had to come over and then they had to figure out why I broke the machine. And it wasn't even that much. It was $75 in savings. So I don't want to say not that much. Um, but you guys, I had grape jelly. I, I probably still have the grape jelly. The grape jelly is older than my kids. And I kept, I kept just, it was just kind of a fun, I was addicted, it was a fun game. Anyway, the lady behind me, I apologized profusely, like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. She's like, you just saved 75 bucks. And I was like, yeah, I guess. And I was like, awesome. So it was just a great way for us when my kids were younger and I wasn't working to make our budget last. So if you got a Michael's coupon code and if you have it on your phone, you get coupons and vouchers and rewards use them I, I buy enough I get you know like 15 bucks off every week I use it all right I could probably put this aside anyway I love that show it was fun to watch these ladies beat the system they did good I was, I was never like that. I'd be shiny things by that bottle of vodka or that bottle of wine. <laughs> oh, that makes me sound terrible, but you know, you get it. I'm gonna put that aside. So fluid acrylic can take a little bit longer to dry. Right there. Love it. So anybody got anything, any questions? So this brought up a good point. I'm, paint, I'm painting the Welcome Snowy Village, if you're just joining. It's a hanger, but I'm doing the 12-inch version for my desk. And this is a great resource for people that are brand new and they don't even know how to start. And I give them this kit because they bought it and they're like, oh, now what? So I can, if they write me, I can send them to the video. I wish I could say I just send you the clip, but I'm not that good. I'm not that good, guys. Okay, I'm going to use my sponge or the Stuart sponge on the rest of this. What did I do with my white? Oh, here it is, right there. Right in front of everybody. All right, so I'm gonna do the roof line. So some fun stuff you could do for the snow line is you can, okay, I don't want it to goop down the side. 
file. Oh, you're okay, babies. So I don't know if my dogs will cooperate today. Okay, so obviously you're gonna paint it, you're gonna paint it a couple times, but then what you could do is do some snow text, which is kind of a 3D pasty white paint, or you could do thicker paint application, or I, I do have my um, heavy body acrylics. Now keep in mind, my fluid body, uh, blah, 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 start over. Fluid body acrylics is kind of shiny. It has a more of a glossy or semi-gloss finish, whereas this has a very flat look. So I think I'm gonna like that. Your eye needs a place to land. If everything was the same sheen, it wouldn't be as interesting to look at. So your eye needs a place to land. But if it was bothering you, if you decided to follow along exactly and you went down and got a little bottle of Artist Loft Professional, we're talking professional here, um, white, titanium white, you get it any bitty. Um, and then you put it on and you're like, I like how fluffy it is, but I don't like the sheen. You could just pick up a bottle of something and give it a spray. I'd probably recommend the polycrylic because of all the white. So probably the polycrylic. And just give it a spray. So if this is going outside, you should spray it every year, seal it. If it's going inside, that's totally up to you and your personal taste. about ready to write Martha Stewart. I know I keep threatening, but I think it's time. Me and her are gonna talk about bring these back. I could get you, you know, like 2,000 of these sold tomorrow. You'd all buy them, right? It's a four pack, different sizes, different sizes. Um, there's a smaller one, there's a bigger one, and you can get, get it done so fast. And then if she sold replacement pieces, and I've tried, I've tried to cut, I've tried to MacGyver them, and it just, it wasn't working. But Martha, Martha, if you're watching, Martha, bring them back. There's at least 2,000 of us that want these. Oh my gosh, they're so fantastic. I do, I have other things, other makeup sponges, but these, my heart, my heart is with this one. And I cry just a little bit every time I forget to clean them out. This is what happened to this one. Every time I forget to clean them out, I trim it off and then Okay, so they have two sides. You can kind of see this one isn't flat because I trimmed it. Um, so you get you get a little bit of fudging there that you can do. I cry a little bit inside every time that happens because I'm a wimp. Oh, um, okay. Well, shoot on this one, which is my sample piece. The um, snow is blue. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not a huge bright blue fan. Boom. And even though they're kind of tealish blue, I don't want them that way. So guys, if you're just show, showing up, let me know where you're watching from. I know we're, we, all of a sudden we went from very localized in the Northwest to Tiffany from Massachusetts. Tiffany, I don't know if you're still here, but oh my gosh, I don't know how you heard about us. But we just recently, in the last two and a half months, and that's just how the algorithm works, all of a sudden it's like, you're everywhere. So if you're new, I'm a mom of three. I have one grandbaby. I got some puppies. Um, Bassett lover, like to hike, like to walk, like to do crafts. We like to help other ladies find their crafty, arty self. Married for 29 years. And we moved from King County to Spokane when my mama got sick. She's better now, thank you. Okay, here we go. I'm kind of loving how this is coming together. Oh, I forgot the roof. It, you know what? I don't know if Katie was, was, who was helping me? Black with snow caps, yes. So, no snow, but it's cold here. Um, so, Kay said black, so I did the, what are we calling that? steeple in black. So I'm gonna do my chimney super fast in black. Oh, it's almost dry too. Good save, lady. Good save. It's always something. I always forget something. So you could paint that one more time since I'm there. 
I could glitter that steeple. Most of my glitter is in the car, but because I had a paint party last night. Okay, here we go. So I just have to do this and the swirl. And honestly, and any extra, because I'm kind of an extra girl, give me a little love if you like. Um, if you're an extra person too, I like a little extra. Some of your cutouts popped up on Facebook Newsfeed, so I was checking out your shop. Oh, very cool. Well, welcome. You never know how they do that. They so this week they love me. <laughs> Probably do something to tick them off by next week. It's just the way the game is played. For a little goofy, it's just me and my husband, and then um, my three kids. So they're a little older, obviously, because I'm I'm a little older. Okay, so here we go. And so what I can do is I can just flip this over. Remember to come back and wash that, okay, which I did not do to this end at one point, which is typical. I mean, I had them for two years and then I just started doing this stuff where I wasn't washing them out, trying to make it flat. <laughs> yep, we're really painting here. <laughs> All right, so I've got several different values, shades of it's basically blue with some green, possibly. I'm trying to decide which one I want. I kind of want it, um, I know I want it with silver, so I'm gonna try all of them, just because I just don't know. I don't think I want the mint. Let's try this light blue, and eh, I don't like light blue. Paint it the color you want, okay. These are all fluid acrylics, but honestly go down and tile. Michaels and get your little deco art. This one's pretty. Oh, Bahama Blue. It's my favorite. It's my favorite color. All right, here we go. Let's mix them up and see what we get. Okay. So this one's way deeper. I think it's the contender, actually. So why do I use silver paint? So I like to use metallics, either gold, copper, or silver, depending on what I'm painting or what I'm hoping to change. And what I like to do is if you use this color instead, uh, the metallic instead of like white or brown or something, you get just a really deep version of what you wanted to use. And it's it's like deeper, but it's also lighter. It's hard to explain. It's more interesting to me. I kind of like them both. What if I painted the welcome in the dark and the little swirly swirl with um, that lighter, what color is this? We're calling it teal too, what color is this? Turquoise, okay, here we go. Turquoise for the welcome, teal, and they're both silver for the swirl, because they don't have to be matchy match, right? I'm gonna try it, and if I don't like it, guess what? Let it dry, paint over it. If anything else, it was a great base coat for what you're gonna end up with. This could be done in reds, Oh, guys, I like it so much. Let's see what it looks like. Yep, I like it so much. This could be done in, you know, your Christmas colors. Maybe you're into boho Christmas, and that's fine. Maybe you're real traditional. Who was that that said traditional yesterday, but then they had a bunch of yellows and stuff in it? Um, I'm trying to think who was that. That was giggling. Cause we're all a little extra. We're like, oh, we like traditional, you know, like red and green. Oh, but then gold, yellow, purple. <laughs> oh, so cute. Okay. See how fast that goes? It's really, guys, I think it's gonna come together really nice. This is flipped over. Def oh, nope, nope. Almost did the wrong color. Not today. Not today, ADHD. We got this. Okay. Hold it together. Here we go. And just take a little piece of this. It's my sponges from Walmart. Yeah, we broke the bank on that. Me and you, we bought so many sponges that Walmart is now out of those sponges. Someone said yesterday, if you live close to the Dollar General, they have a miscellaneous Fun, miscellaneous sponge container for $1.25. Um, we have the Dollar Tree and they're not nearly that good. Hmm, 
Let's see, is that enough different? I guess it's different, but still the same. Okay, so this lighter teal, definitely gonna need multiple coats. Love it. So what I'm gonna do for the rest of the day is put this together and then I'm gonna go out to the workshop because I have about 25 orders that I have to print the labels and get them out the door. They're all ready to go. So maybe that's you, maybe, maybe, maybe. We were able to get things out the next day or two even though we said, oh hey, oops, wrong color. We were saying um, five days or so, five business days, but then we had that whole snafu with so many people joined our art box and I'm so excited, they're beautiful. And they were taking over an hour to cut each. And so it typically takes 20 minutes. I guess that works out. It was three projects. What's he crying about? Ah, he's trying to bamboozle me. That's okay. They're fantastic projects. And most of them are out the door. Oops, let me get that sponge. What's this one? Whoop. All right, how cool is that? All right, so I know you're dying to see how this looks together before we do any extra. And I don't know, I might not have to do extra on this. All right, so here we go. Dry. I happen to have this plug-in that I thought, oh, it might be a good size or good height. Oh, it is. It's a good height. Okay. So here we go. We've got the base. Oh, I was going to give the base one more coat. I'll come back and do it. You don't need to be here for that. Okay, pretend I gave the base another coat and it is solid white. Lined up. This is so pretty. I wish you guys could see the shimmer. Hey, I know there's a little snow. Shelly, you're downhill from me. I'm up. I have a little sticking. Look at this, it's so pretty. I gotta get some of my um, Thanksgiving projects painted too, but I, I'm kind of stuck on, I'm loving a lot of these designs. So the welcome, and it's etched, you know, right where to put it. Line her up. And here's my swirl. I swirl a slightly different color. Hey, Shelly, Shelly. Okay, non-sticking here yet. That's really, oh, thanks, Tiff. All of a sudden, it just went boom, boom, boom. So I must have had some messages that just weren't quite sending. What I like about it, Tiffany, is it's it's elegant, or as elegant as you want to make it, or as rustic farmhouse as you want to make it. I think it has a universal theme, um, community in the winter time. Maybe I'm reaching too hard, but that's kind of what I'm thinking. It's like, how sweet is this? Um, some of the other ones we've done recently are still. I still love the one we did yesterday. The welcome with the wreath is great. And then I love the Santa one I did last week. My brother walked in from San Diego and he like is gonna paint one of these for all of his buddies. How beautiful is that one? So pretty. Um, they're just so magical. I try, there's so many designs and I try to only like bring out the ones that I'm like, hmm, this one's extra special. And I really like this because it could be on your door, on your desk, in your kitchen, countertop for like all winter. Hey Shelly, thanks so much. Oh, I love the Santa one too, Tiff. I do, it's it's my favorite. Um, this year, it's by far my favorite design for me, not for like, oh, I think everyone will like this. I think everyone will like this or the tree from yesterday. Okay, so let's talk just a little bit of extra. Um, you're gonna go down to Michael's, get yourself some glitz. I'm almost out, get one for me too, because I'm almost out. Glitz is the name of the glitter, it's very fine. It's from Recollections. They have smaller ones, but they are in a multi-pack. They also have larger ones, which I have for my paint parties because I go through them. So for the snowflakes, I definitely want to, oh, that's wrong, that's been a mess. I definitely want to make some glitter glue. So you guys know how to make it. 
If you're brand new, keep watching. So it's probably our number one question. How do I make that glitter glue? Okay, so fine glitter. Let's see if you can see that. Um, and what I like about the glitz and why it's different than the other white glitter Recollections has is it's a little bit iridescent. That's the word. Um, now, it tends to be a little bit thick. So I like to put just like a... Oh, yep, that's a lot. So I'm going to pour that out real quick. A little bit off. Okay. Let me get a paintbrush. Mix it up. And so if you saw my video yesterday, we used really large glitter, more like sequin glitter. This is small. And you're going to put multiple coats on, but I just want to kind of show you the, how this one works. You're just going to paint it where you want it. So if you've, taken, if you've taken, and you know who you are, the glitter away from the kids, because they're animals and it's messy, <laughs> give it back to them, but give it back to them with this uh, glue base. And then they can just put it where it wants, where, where they want it. So let me see, can you guys, I don't know, can you see that? Oh, it's a shame. I wish I had like glitter vision that I could snap a, like a button and you guys would have the glitter vision. Wow, it's so beautiful. And it never photographs well either. Like you would not see, I wonder if I can just put it like that. Maybe get it closer, closer. Yeah, never mind. Just take my word for it. It's amazing. Okay, and then you want to clean your hands. And if you have the snow text, use the snow text. I do, but it's in my car and I'm just too lazy to go get it. So I have some heavy body fluid acrylic paint and it's very thick. You guys can see that. I'm wondering if I can get away with using it. Um, so use a paintbrush if you want, but you know me. I'm just going to go in for it. I like that tactile sensation. Okay, so I'm just going to frost the top of this. I'm just bouncing a little bit. And you can build it up. You can do a couple layers at a time. Remember that's showing. I don't know. Can you see that? It's a little thicker. Then when it dries, I can bring that iridescent glitter in. And now it's going to take a little while to dry. You're going to just have to take my word for it. But when it does, and it will shrink. Acrylic paint shrinks at the rate of 33%. I would say heavy body acrylic probably shrinks at the rate. And I didn't make that number up. It's actually a number you can research. Um, heavy body acrylic. I would not be surprised if it doesn't shrink more like 40%. So if you wanted to do that a couple different times to get, you know, the look you want, you just put that there. And I'm definitely seeing glitter in the future for you. So can you see the difference? Fluffy, fluffy fluff, non-fluffy fluff. Oh, what did I mix with the glitter tiff? Okay, so honestly, I use the clear glue from Craft Smart. However, I am giving this a shot right now and it seems like it's working fine. It's Elmer's Clear Glue. It's pretty thick, you'll wanna thin it down. So you'll just pour these into your portion cups or if you have an extra one of these, you can pour this in, add a little water. This is a little bit more friendly for those of you that aren't running a business. Um, I go through that half gallon of Craft Smart, and that's the only size they're uh, selling it at um, pretty, I mean, like every six months. So you guys would never go through it. It's pretty large. I'd show it to you, but it's holding my stand in place. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, Shelly, thank you so much. <laughs> Crack me up. Okay. And so I'm just going to go ahead. And maybe I'll just leave this here so you guys can see the difference what it looks like. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to paint my back, my backer board one more time. I'm going to continue putting the um, Liquitex heavy body uh, acrylics on there. You can use thicker white paint. Let's say you have some Liquitex. It's just basic artist paint. It's good. Titanium white. Don't get zinc It or a, uh, yeah. Don't get the zinc because it's see-through-y, it's uh, transparent. Um, and you could do the same thing, but snow text or the glittery snow text that they have, and it's not called snow text, but it's an off-brand, 
that they have it. Um, Amazon's pretty nice. I keep losing that container. It's already glittery, so it saves you a step. But um, I just happen to have the heavy body acrylic here from when I was teaching abstract art classes. So I'm just gonna put that on. I may put a second coat. This is one thing that's just a little easier to put on with your finger. I mean, you could use a palette knife, but it would be flat. And I'm looking for this um, fluff. Okay, now I kinda want marshmallow cream. Hey y'all, I heard last night that Costco has its pumpkin pie. And so if you like to get in on that well before Christmas, let me know. <laughs> I really like their pumpkin pie. No, I can't eat it all. Yes, I have one or two and then, or not Christmas, uh, I meant, um, what's the word, Thanksgiving. Um, I, like, I like to get it early for some reason. And then I may have a piece at Thanksgiving, but probably by then I'm a little bit sick of it. So let me know, do you like the Costco pumpkin pie? It's so big. They, they can't make any money off of that. Costco, you making any money off of that pumpkin pie? I know so many people that work at Costco um, headquarters just because, you know, where we lived was the next town over. So we did a lot of Costco um, employee paint parties and things like that. So I should, I should write one of them and say, are you making any money? Shelly's already ate one. You'll get another for Thanksgiving, but can you? Do you know if it freezes very well? I was wondering if I froze in an individually sized, appropriate size pieces, if I could have it a little bit longer. I don't know. I kind of have, I have a problem, you guys. Pumpkin, I'm gonna need t-shirts, the pumpkin pie club. Kind of need t-shirts. I wish you could see the big one has the glitter. And you could do more. You could put some glitter on the welcome and that kind of thing. But I think to me, the beauty is in the sim simplicity of this one. This was, this was my project idea page. And this is what I did with it. So it's okay to do something different. They've got, Ron is with us. Donna, you've already had one. So I'm hoping to paint tomorrow. I'm hoping to paint a request from Donna. I already had the file, but just cause I'm in a special club and we, there's like maybe a few of us that, that get the file. I already had it. I just haven't cut it. So it's a small sign with some scroll work that reads, um, I believe it reads Santa's coming to town and it hangs on um, this stand. So I'm hoping that John cuts that for me tomorrow because Donna really wants it for the Friday night paint night, I think. Um, and so I'll be here tomorrow. I'm not painting a hanger, but painting that. I hope, fingers crossed, send good vibes and good feelings if John gets that done for me. And um, tell me more about this pumpkin pie, Rhonda, or pecan pie. That's really yummy. One of my friends made the best pecan pie I've ever had in my life, and she used brown sugar. I tried one time, and it was soupy. So, and then those of yous that are those of yous that are homemakers and do a really good job of it. I'm, I'm a homemaker. I always was. But I don't know how good a job I do. I don't know how to make the strawberry freezer jelly. I know the directions are right there and I'm not dumb, but okay, at first I did try to make it lower sugar and I get that, but then the next year I followed the directions exactly and then I followed the directions exactly. And every time I make it, it's this runny, terrible jam. And here's my mother-in-law and she, that's her thing. She can make amazing, delicious freezer jelly the way it's supposed to be. And mine's just laughable. Okay, remind me, I gotta make sure I clean both sides. So this is just easy, you're just gonna toss it in the water. So I am gonna actually get off here in a minute. I am actually gonna write, um, or find out who I could talk to in the Martha Stewart world to find out where I can find those stinking um, sponges for y'all, because you're all been asking. And hopefully, fingers crossed, somebody gets back to me because I'm just a little person. They might not get back to me, but I am loud and I'm tenacious, so I, I keep on going. I keep on going. Energizer bunny. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, it's sickeningly sweet, but so good. I like it. I like that so much. Okay, so I'm going back to the workshop. That's why I kind of look like this today. Um, 
And I, I did put a little effort in, but not a lot. <laughs> and so I'm going to get those other boxes out today for the rest of you that have ordered things. Um, if this is something you like, we do have it on the website. We have it in 12 inch and we have it in 18, I believe. So if not, watch tomorrow. Maybe you'll like that project a little bit better. Thanks for watching today and talking pie with me all. Bye.